Before we start, I would like to give a huge shout out to my good old friend Chase, who made these amazing art pieces from his whole sea. And if you want to see more of our artists, don't forget to turn in every single Tuesday at the beginning of Sonic Tuesdays and submit your art. You might be part of it next time. So yeah, without further ado, let's get this started, shall we? everyone, welcome to Sonic Station and today we are going to play more Sonic 2 on Sonic Tuesdays. So if you really enjoy this series, as you already know, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share it with your friends and let's get this started. Well, today's topic is kind of a bit different. I always saw that there was a big discussion about whether Sonic 2 or Sonic CD happened first. I mean, we all know that they were being developed at the same time, but chronologically, which happened first? I mean, back in my big brain ideas, which aren't really that big brain, it's Sonic CD for me. The spin dash was different, and we got to meet Amy and Metal Sonic, and it seems kind of like that it was more Sonic 2 was more grandiose so I think that more time went on planning that but there are many that still consider that Sonic 2 actually happened before and that makes me feel really curious I mean why do they think that and if that's the case why isn't Amy playable in Sonic 2 and how would she really play in this game well I guess that today is the day we find the answer to it, and as such, we are going to play Amy Rose in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I'm just going to the option menu, I think, if we have, just to make it uh, Amy only. Yeah, I think that's better, yes, because here we have Amy, uh, Amy and Tails, uh, and I really don't want that. So. We will play only as Amy and we will start our big journey in Emerald Hill. So, from what I can see, Amy can jump but not spin jump and she has an hammer. And I have no skill for this. Really? Okay. Yeah, it seems, it seems that's it. Oh, we actually have the, the hop ability. Nice! So it seems we kind of have here a Sonic Advance style Amy, which is actually really nice. Let me see. Oh, okay, we also have a peel out. Wow, Amy is actually really useful. I actually wonder if we can use that in, in Springs. We will see that when we get into a spring and uh, but we can't roll so okay we can't use it in springs just like in Sonic Advance but it, it is actually really fine if it is by me I don't think that Amy would control like this and maybe the people at Sega don't really know how Amy would control because if we kinda think about it we never had Amy in Sonic Adve in Sonic Mania or Sonic Mania Plus, and it would be really a nice chance for that to happen. Maybe that's because they haven't found a way to implement her. I mean, for me, the Sonic games, since they don't have really that big of a variety of abilities, I think that maybe she would have. If it, she was implemented in Sonic Mania, she would have a peel out, not a spin jump like she has here, and maybe one addition that I really like will be for her to have a Emmer jump like she has in the Sonic Mania mod, but that's really impossible with only one button. So maybe this Emmer spin, which looks a bit more like the Insta Shield, will be. Her ability, I really don't know. What I know is that this boss 
is no challenge for Amy Rose. And by the way guys, tell me, do you prefer this design or the more modern-like design of Amy? I actually prefer more the modern one because I think it gives her more style and while this one is cute and makes her look a bit more like um, more like Minnie from from Disney, you know the duality of Mickey and Minnie. It could apply to uh, to Sonic and Amy. I think that it actually the modern one is actually a better one. At least that's my opinion. And with this, we are going to move to Chemical Plant Zone. How is Amy going to handle this without being able to curl? Can she go to, through the pipes? That's a really nice question. Let's try it out. Hmm. Okay, here she doesn't. She does not have that ability that she had um, in Sonic Advance when she would hop and then attack. That's not a thing here. And she rolls like a normal character. I actually one thing that I really hate in Sonic Advance is the sound that she would make when she rolled. And in my Advance Android, I actually changed it to make it a voice clip more annoying, because you already know, we need our Sonic games really more annoying. And I jumped, I don't know why I jumped, but it was a terrible mistake, now we will have to get some speed, and let's try this out. I think we actually got through and we will try the boss and maybe we will call it a day because at the end of the day this is only playing Sonic 2 with another character while it's fine I think that there are better ROM hacks but it will actually be really interesting to have Amy playable you know, just like we had Knuckles in Knuckles in Sonic 2. I think it would be really, really interesting. And these sprites actually make the character look kinda possible in a classic Sarnic world. Who knows, maybe it will happen. Let's see. Also, the hopping ability is actually quite useful. And why is it hopping upwards? Okay. I don't know what happened, but it was only up hopping upwards. Okay, let's see... here. Let's go down here. Amy is actually a really nice character. I think that in her classic form she will she should be more in merchandising and everything. She always got the short end of the stick. I mean, she was playable in Sonic... in Sonic R, but other than that we never saw her in 3D Blast. We never saw her in, in any Sonic game, really. We only saw her in spin-offs. I mean, she was in Sonic Drift, but... It is Sonic Drift, right? Okay. Let's keep moving. And playing with her is actually really fun. At least in Sonic Advance. I really like it's kind of like a more challenging way of playing the game. So we should have more Amy in games. 
Yeah, we should have more Amy in games. She is cool. Not when she dies, like now. But when she's playable, she's really cool. And let's see if we can really get through. Chemical Plant Act 2. My god. I always knew that with the episodes I was going to get bad again at Sonic 2. Maybe Sonic 2 wasn't designed to be played as Amy. Who knows. Let me just feel a little bit better about it. Okay, let's keep moving. And I don't know why here she jumps upwards, but that's fine by me. And yeah guys, what do you think about Amy being in the classic games? Would she be a really nice addition? Not at all. I mean, leave your opinions in the comments below. And if you have kind of a set of abilities that she could have in a Sonic Mania style game, yeah, you can leave it, you can leave those there. I mean, it's always cool because these ideas might actually bring Amy. I think a double jump could also be a nice ability to give her. And this high jump is not a bad one. Maybe instead of spin dashing and peel outing with the up button and the jump button, she could jump really high. But I don't know. I'd like to know your opinions. And now we are actually going to fight this boss. Let's just wait till it comes back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it was actually easy. And I really thought that we were going to die there, but it seems not. It seems we were able to clear Act 2, and with that, end another episode of Sonic Tuesdays. So, if you enjoyed this episode, you already know it. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I actually keep forgetting about this, but if you want your drawings to be placed at the beginning of the video, don't forget to join our Discord server. You have to be at least 13, and you can submit to all your art in Sonic Art, and it will appear at the beginning of the videos. So, I guess that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode of Sonic Tuesdays. Take care, guys!